For this week's Throwback Thursday, our archivists have discovered a fascinating piece of film. It is the first ride, down and up Vogelscheiss Incline. Leaving Horn and Trumpet Bahnhof, we pass Scooter and Station Master's Bench to our right and head out onto the main line leading towards Rassenmeer Überfahrt Haltpunkt. Approaching the signal for the area, we slow down again preparing to take the junction to our left, going down Tiefshorn branch. Very cautiously here, because the point is newly reinstalled and we don't want any derailments now, do we? The train passes the crane at the loading bay for Merth at Zersud. which at this time was still a fuel depot. Heading under the cherry tree with potted apple and Kirschbaum in Wald to our right, the train comes to a halt, testing brakes at the top of the fearsome Vogelscheiss incline. Driver, second man and guard, all satisfied that the brakes and safety chains are working properly. The train proceeds down to Tiefshorn. Down it goes. This is quite a nerve-wracking moment, and as you will notice at the bottom, Tiefshorn is at this point just a set of buffer stops. No platform, no curve, nothing really. Just a dead end in the middle of nowhere. And now we ride back to Horn and Trumpet Bahnhof up the incline. Ascending Vogelscheiss incline, as I mentioned, one in eight, is a challenge for any train. On this occasion our motive power is Jack Hackett, our 040 diesel mechanical Bagili Drury. This loco makes absolute mincemeat of the ascent and is soon back on the level, heading past Merthet Zersud again and rejoining the main line. There is a whistle there, but we can't hear it. Passing Rassenmeer Überfahrt Haltpunkt. And we are soon back on the approach to Horn and Trumpet Bahnhof. There you will see one of the horns that gives this area its name, Horn and Trumpet. Bud Schmelen there with the door open, naughty engineers and heading once more into Horn and Trumpet Barnoff Terminal where the train comes to a halt. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video.